CBB's Bedtime Story. Hello? Hello? No. Oh, there's nobody there. Oh, hello. I'm David. Did you just ring me on the phone? You didn't? Well, somebody did. Oh, I know who it was. It was Matilda's mummy. Matilda is the elephant in tonight's bedtime story and her mum likes to phone her a lot. The story is by Cressida Cowell and Neil Layton and is called Emily Brown and the Elephant Emergency. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Emily Brown and an old grey rabbit called Stanley. One day, Emily Brown and Stanley were white water rafting down the turbulent waters of the Zambezi River with their great friend Matilda. Matilda was just steering them skillfully over the very last rapid with her trunk when there was a ring, 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 ring on the emergency telephone. Emily Brown answered it. Emily Brown speaking, can I help you? Help, said the voice at the other end of the line. This is Matilda's mummy here and I'm terribly worried. I'm worried that your boat might sink. I'm worried that you might get eaten by crocodiles. I'm worried that the hippos could be bad tempered and Matilda isn't wearing her Wellington boots. Matilda has to be so careful that she doesn't catch a cold. Elephants don't wear Wellingtons, Matilda's mummy replied Emily Brown. And this phone is for emergency calls only. Please do not phone unless you have an emergency. And Emily Brown put down the phone politely. A few days later, Emily Brown and Stanley were searching for a new species in the land of the dinosaurs. They were just investigating a particularly interesting set of footprints with their good friend Matilda when there was a ring, 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 ring on the emergency telephone. Emily Brown answered it again. Hello, this is Emily Brown. What is your emergency? It's Matilda's mummy again, said Matilda's mummy. Can I speak to Matilda? I'm even more worried than I was before. I'm worried that a brontosaurus might sit on someone. I'm worried that the T-Rex might give Matilda a nip with his pointy teeth. And it's way past five o'clock and Matilda hasn't had her tea yet. Matilda has to have her tea on the dot of five o'clock. Elephants do not have tea times, Matilda's mummy replied Emily Brown. Matilda will eat when she is hungry. Again, Matilda's mummy, can I ask you not to call this phone unless you have a real emergency? This telephone is for emergency calls only. And Emily Brown put down the phone a bit more firmly this time. A few days later, and Emily Brown and Stanley were climbing the peak of Mount Everest. Poor Matilda was having a little trouble holding on to the rope because of her Wellingtons and her lunchbox getting in the way when there was a ring, 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 ring on the emergency telephone. Hello, snapped Emily Brown. Emily Brown speaking, and this better be a proper emergency. It certainly is, said Matilda's mummy. This is Matilda's mummy here, and I am more worried than ever. I'm worried that Matilda might get caught in an avalanche. I'm worried that Matilda might get frostbite on her trunk. And Matilda seems to have forgotten to wear her nice clean socks again. Matilda is a very smart elephant and she likes to look spotless at all times. Matilda's mummy, cried Emily Brown, very firmly indeed. Elephants do not wear socks, clean or otherwise, and clean socks are not an emergency. A few days later still, and Emily Brown and Stanley were searching for diamonds in the deepest most caves of the earth. But Matilda was not joining in. She was worried she might lose a Wellington or drop her lunchbox, or dirty her nice clean socks. So she sat and watched Emily Brown and Stanley and waited for the emergency telephone to ring. She already had her helmet on because she knew that was what her mummy would want. Poor Matilda waited. And she waited. And she waited by the emergency telephone. But still, Matilda's mummy did not call. And then poor Matilda grew sad and ill. Tears rolled down her floppy trunk. My mummy has forgotten me, cried Matilda. And the light on her helmet flickered and went out. 
Emily Brown looked at Stanley and Stanley looked at Emily Brown. Matilda was one unwell elephant. This really was an emergency. Emily Brown picked up the emergency telephone and called Matilda's mummy. But Matilda's mummy did not answer. So Emily Brown and Stanley took Matilda gently by the trunk and they went to find Matilda's mummy in the heart of the big city. It turned out that Matilda's mummy needed rescuing herself. She had been kidnapped by a great grey busyness and it would not let her go. Matilda perked up immediately. She threw off her Wellingtons, chucked away her lunchbox and tossed her clean socks into the nearest puddle. It was a very daring rescue. A few days later, Emily Brown, Stanley, Matilda and Matilda's mummy were searching for the source of the Nile in the jungles of Africa. They were surrounded by crocodiles. Nobody had on their Wellingtons. It was way past tea time and Matilda's mummy's socks would have been the dirtiest of all if she had been wearing socks, which she wasn't. Because elephants don't wear socks. Suddenly, there was a ring, 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 ring on Matilda's mummy's mobile phone. But one of the crocodiles ate it. <coughs> so we'll never know what the emergency was. I wonder if it was important. And that story was called Emily Brown and the Elephant Emergency. Oh. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's time for bed. I, I, yes, I know. I need to tell everyone to make sure they've brushed their teeth and cleaned their faces. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, hold on a minute, I'll speak to you in a minute. That's Matilda's mummy. She says it's time for you to go to bed. I'll see you soon for another story. Night night. Okay. So where are your Wellington boots? And what kind of an adventure are you and Matilda on tonight? Oh. Oh. Okay. Good luck. <laughs>